all right everybody welcome to your sixth C++ tutorial in which we'll be learning about something called C in now just like C out is used to display something on the screen C in is used to get something from the user from the console now C in would actually allow you to make dynamic programs based on the user input and then parse the information as whatever you like so to do that first of all declare a variable because obviously we want the information which is received from the user to store somewhere so that we could actually pass that so let's say C out enter a number and let's say I want to get a number from the user now so what I'll do is I'll type C in and instead of these greater than signs I'll make use of these signs or I don't know if they are less than then these are opposite so I just want to say you guys that this looks like you are throwing off something from C out it looks like kinda and this looks like you are getting something inside C in so that pretty much makes sense so I want to get something but where I want to store that so I want to store that in A now this is crucial because this not only tells where the information has to be stored but it also tells that what kind of information the compiler is expecting from the user now A has a data type of integer so compiler would only accept integer and if something else is entered then the program would probably crash down so I'll just zoom in a little bit for you guys now let's just run this program and you see that we get a prompt enter a number waiting for us to enter a number so let's say I enter 20 so it says nothing because we are not using this information anywhere so let's press enter and let's make use of this number so let's say see out your number when when squared gives uh, let's make use of cascading a star a now we are working with variables now since we already had a inside the value of user inside the a we could actually perform arithmetic or whatever we like under this line so let's execute this again so let's say I enter um, 10 and I hit enter so it gives me your number when squared gives gives us 100 uh, and that's correct so you see how C in works and C in is not only for integer it would also work for characters so let's say I have a character my initial and I see out enter initial of your name all right and I see in my initial and what I'll do is I'll just type your name has the initial my initial so you see that cascading not only works with a single integer or a single data type but with any of the data type so when I see out this or uh, run this so it says me enter initial of your name since mine is Mehul so it would be M and it says me your name has the initial M pretty obvious and stupid but that's how you guys will learn <laughs> so that's pretty much it about CN and I'll be using a hell lot of CN in my future tutorials so I want you guys to clear up all your concepts about CN and C out about these two streams and if you guys are facing any problem then feel free to leave a comment inside the comment section below so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching